<laughs> we'll be able to fill in and get some face we're going to want to be facing this way if we can just fill in on this direction right here. Bring everybody in. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank all of you for coming and joining us in this uh, press conference. We want to recognize our elected officials, our city manager, our mayor, and other elected officials that may be present. Uh, come on up a little closer so we can see you. <laughs> and uh, members of the press and the members of the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance, the Baptist Ministerial Union, and the Mud Creek Missionary Baptist Association. My name is John Grant, and I'm speaking this morning on behalf of the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance president, the Reverend Gary McDaniel, and the Baptist Ministerial Union, the president is Reverend Dr. L.C. Ray, and the Mud Creek Missionary Baptist Association, Reverend Spencer Jones. We are here to announce our support for the mayor of the city of Asheville, Mayor uh, Esther Meinhammer, the city manager, Ms. Deborah Campbell, and our newly appointed uh, chief of police, uh, Chief David Zack. We are here to offer our help and to announce our help and our support. And we want to assist towards bringing healing and reconciliation to the Asheville and the larger Buncombe County uh, community. In this process of community reinvestment and reimagining of the Asheville Police Department, our network of churches throughout this city and Western North Carolina has been and is one of the few remaining bedrocks of organization and hope for our communities which need our help and our leadership right now. Since its inception, the black church has historically provided the social, economic, political, and cultural base for black communities throughout the United States of America and has been pivotal to the success of the civil rights movement. We are here to help lead the way to solutions. We want to see solutions, not anarchy. We are here to lead the way to truthful, respectful, and compassionate dialogue without name calling, uh, without uh, trying to make people look bad, to make ourselves look good. We are here to help support tangible solutions, 
so that resources can be put into our community-led and community-based people and organizations. We want to have respectful, truthful dialogue without all of the uh, name-calling and, and blaming and this kind of thing. So the president of the uh, IMA is here, the president of the Baptist Union is here, and the moderator of the Mud Creek Association are here. And uh, together we represent, I don't know, some 80 or so churches throughout the city and uh, Buncombe County. And if there are any questions, uh, the leaders of our organizations will answer those questions. But we just want to make it clear that we want to support our elected and our, and our appointed officials. And uh, this thing about defunding the police, we think that's something we need to look at very carefully because we believe we need our police department. Yes, sir. We don't endorse police brutality in it, any sort of thing like that, but we believe we need our police department and we want to support it. Uh, and hopefully that our elected officials will do the right thing for all the citizens of our community. Amen. 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 Greetings to everybody. Since we are preachers, we, we can express loudly. Uh, even without a mic. But we bring you greetings from our Christ, our Lord. And I personally bring you greetings from the Baptist Ministry of Union of the Greater Asheville community, which covers five counties. To the Honorable Mayor and to other council persons I recognize, to our distinguished city manager, if there are any other officials in our city or county? Uh, are you... Commissioner Whitesides is in the back there. Yeah. Al. <laughs> there he is. I did not see him. Al is, well, no, Al is a personal friend. We grew up together. And we talked on yesterday to our county uh, commissioner, Mr. Al Whiteside, and if there are any others, especially to our law enforcement I concur and I'll agree with all the exciting words that Dr. Grant stated in the beginning. We as the Baptist Ministers Union would want to let our officials know and our great area, our Western North Carolina know, that we are in support of our local and I can also say our state government we are in support of law enforcement, and I brought a badge and a picture where I served in the 80s under Chief Hensley as a chaplain of this great city and area. May we say to all of you and to all that have come and shared this moment, we are in support of all good things. We are in support of our young people, but we as leaders want to recognize the right choices and share within the right things. So from the union, thank you. Thank you, Brother Pastor. And to my other colleagues, may God bless you. Love you. Terry McDaniel, President of IMA, I will concur with what just has been said. If you need us, we're here for you. Don't hesitate to ask us. We're waiting, and we will ascertain your call. We are here to support you. I understand city government. I worked for the city of Asheville 37 and a half years in the planning department, so I do know the functions. If you need us, please, please call us. We're here for you. We're here to help you put out some fire. So we say thank you. My name is uh, Reverend Spencer Jones. I am the moderator of the Mud Creek Missionary Baptist Association, an association that contains some 29 churches. And so we come in support of all of our churches in Buncombe County and surrounding area. We come in support of our city officials, the mayor of Asheville, city manager, the city police department, certainly want to collaborate and, and, and try to do things decent and in order. Uh, we are about peace and unity. Yes. And so that's why we come in support. 
We, I, I personally don't believe in defunding our police, but I do believe in reform. But let's do things decent in order. Yes. Let's come to the table together and discuss these things. And I thank God for all the work that has been done so far. And as we continue on, on this journey, we want to do things decent and in order yes. and give God praise. Thank you. If there are any questions that you would like to ask uh, any of these leaders, then uh, I'm sure they'll be willing to address those questions. We will be willing to address any questions that anyone may have. When did the dialogue begin between the churches and the city leaders? Um, and what are some of the kind of tangible solutions and talking points? Well, could I answer that? Uh, for one, I, I've been pastoring in this town 50 years, and we have had these dialogues before with other mayors and council persons. The churches have always been involved, yes. Yes. have always. Yes. And the, even the movement yes. in the 50s and 60s arrived and derived within the church yes. and on the outside of the church. But because, and according to our faith, we work with everybody. You know, we don't go around condemning and saying you're right or you're wrong, but the church recognized so many great things. So I wanted to say that because this is not the first time. I've been part of many events with our city and county and even state governments. So, my friend, we're in great support. If you check the records, you'll find that to be true. We've been involved, I've been in Ashby for 30 years, and if you check the record, the media reports, you will find that this is not the first time we've spoken up on issues. We've been here and we intend to continue to be involved in our community. I guess just to follow up though specifically with like talks of defunding the police, like what have the conversations been like currently on that, that topic specifically? with regard to city and county officials between the, the churches? Well, we've met with the mayor. We've had meetings with the mayor, the city manager, the chief of police, and we can go to the county. We've met with the county sheriff. We've met with the county manager. I mean, you know, that's just what we do. And uh, in, in, uh, in light of recent events for the demand for defunding police, we've kind of had, we've kind of stepped up our meetings but uh, this dialogue has been going on for a little while. The man and the city manager here, yeah, they can, I don't know if they want to speak to you for this. Well, I'm going to add to the issue of specific action items, just that you all reached out to us and, if you'll recall, sent us an email directing our attention to some federal legislation that looked at some holistic changes in policing and public safety efforts that you were really interested in. And specifically, we talked a lot about that list of things and things the city's already done and things we can do, um, and also about community policing is one of the concerns you brought up in knowing your police officers in your neighborhood. This is something I've heard from this group. Thank you. And may I say that um, one of our leaders here, Mr. Whiteside, Alfred, he has been part of what we have been about for a long time, for a long time. So it's a possibility over the last few months we may have been a little quiet, but I think everybody knows clergy is just not quiet. <laughs> We're just not but so quiet. But we, we definitely want to work with our young folk, our young people, and I'm excited how white, blacks, and Hispanics, all people are coming together, working, tired of the hall. Mr. Scott Rogers has been part of these kinds of events, and other ministers, Dr. Grant and others, for many years. So, you know, I'm hearing some saying that 
what the, the church community, what are we doing? We have been part yes. right. of the solutions, yes. but also we've been part of being sure that things are done right. right. We just don't make as much noise as some others do. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Press. Thank you. Recognizing you. Thank you all. Thank you.